Welcome to Calvary by the Sea. My name is Moses Barrios, Moises Barrios. You can call me that too. Uh, my pronouns, he and el. And it's good to be with you this way. So much going on here at Calvary by the Sea in Honolulu, Hawaii. And I want to include you in that. And I hope you can uh, spend some moments here with me as we kind of go over some things that are happening here at Calvary by the Sea. Firstly, this Friday, May 3rd, is a wonderful time of fundraising for our students who are going to New Orleans this year for the ELCA Youth Gathering. And I'm not sure if you've heard about this, but you know our brother Nate uh, Maxwell Darty, he has been announcing this for a few weeks now, and we would really love for you to be part of it. It's happening this Friday at 6.30 p.m. By the way, if you have kids, you can bring your kids. There will be child care available for them. Uh, Minister Eric and the youth will be the, here at Hale Aloha to take care of kids if you want to bring your children. And then we'll escort you over to uh, the site where we will be having this event beer and cheese okay parried and some theology some conversation uh it's going to be a good time and we're just inviting you to come out and support i think it's 50 dollars uh, uh donation based for the event so that we could bless our students as they go uh this summer i think it's in july at the end of july to new orleans to experience just like spiritual formation like spiritual revolution you know what i mean <laughs> So uh, I would really love for you to be part of that. If you haven't, you can still send an email to info at calvarybythesea.org and we can connect you with Nate. We can connect you with the event. All right, Sunday, May 5th. This is important uh, because it pertains to what is happening in our world. Have you seen our students and Columbia University and over maybe 30 universities across, across the nation? Well, there's this uh, standing up for what is right is what's happening there. And so some of you have seen the Israelism um, documentary. You can go uh, to see that online. It's about five bucks to rent it and you can watch it. And then you can join us for a pancake breakfast at 8.30 a.m. on Sunday, May 5th. So uh, we would love for you to become and come and be part of that. It would be a terrific event, a terrific time of dialogue and conversation. Uh, I will be leading that and also providing some uh, some questions and some dialogue around not only Israelism, but also what we've seen uh, across the different news cycles and even what's happening right now at our college campuses. It'd be a terrific conversation to have for us to learn. If you were at our Sunday uh, service this past week, I talked about, hey, you know, let let our hearts be broken, let our eyes be opened, right, to to the things of this world where we can be light and and justice and love. Well, this is an opportunity to do that. This is an opportunity to grow in our understanding, to be more informed, shall we say, of how to be uh, love in this world. So I would love to see you eight thirty p eight thirty a.m. Sunday. Pancake breakfast, and then followed by dialogue as well. All right, um, May 12th. Okay, this is um, typically uh, uh, known as Mother's Day. And yet we understand that family makeup, not sure if you've been reading about the different um, uh, studies out there about the, di the difference in family makeup today. And so family today, moms today look and sound very different than they did in the 1950s, you know, 60s or 70s, even the 1990s, right? Uh, today, there are different makeups, there are different people who play motherly roles, shall we say, right? So um, so we will we will be morphing the name, really, to, to expand the name, shall we say, uh, to be Parents' Day. So it'd be, yes, we're going to recognize mothers, yes, we were going to recognize those who, um, who have, have a, a desire to or have played a role as a mother in many many uh for many different children but we're also going to recognize that mothers and mother's day is really parents day i mean how many grandmothers right how many uh and we don't really have a grandmother's day right it's like this is the day to celebrate everyone who played a motherly role so that day will also include first communion ceremony and so we have maybe about 15 kids who are going to receive communion for the first time. And so um, 
our, our sister Mary Adam is going to be baking some really good bread. <laughs> and uh, we will be uh, inviting our church to recognize these kids. If you want to bring a lay to recognize them, it's a special day uh, for really our kids to and, and teens, right, to celebrate this. Um, so we, we invite you to uh, May 12th, which will have many celebrations, but uh, clearly a day to celebrate our children and our teen who take communion for the first time. Ah, oh, that's so good, right? I mean, imagine um, the 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 memories kids will make, right? Uh, of a whole community of people coming around them and blessing them. Then May nineteenth, uh, that is Pentecost Sunday, and you know, there's a lot of uh, meanings for Pentecost, and one of the things we often ask people here in our church is to wear red. And wearing red is a symbol of the redness, shall we say, of the fire, shall we say, of the Holy Spirit. And that's going to be our focus, really. Uh, you know, scripture says that there was many languages that were spoken that day. So guess what our liturgy is going to be? It's going to be in many different languages. So we're asking people uh, from different languages to speak, to read scripture, to um you know, maybe re lead some prayers. So it would be an experience. You want to come and listen to the diversity of our languages and of our cultures, then you got to be here Pentecost Sunday because it's going to be good. It's going to be amazing. Um, the other thing that's happening that day is also we're having baptisms. So ocean baptisms. If you have not yet gotten baptized and you want to be baptized, this is the day to do it, right? Um, we will finish off with some ocean baptisms. And then lastly, we will have our welcome lunch. So some people have asked me about welcome lunch. So welcome lunch is essentially a time to get to know the church, to get to know the pastor, to get to know our staff, to get to know our other ministers. Um, it's a time to talk about how you can be part of our community. How can you join us in this mission? of inclusivity, of involvement, of intentionality. So I, I encourage you to consider coming if you're new uh, and you have are thinking about becoming a member of the church or joining us and being part of our spiritual family. This is it. Like, this is your opportunity for that. You know, it doesn't, there's no requirements. I get, you know, you just come be part of this lunch. And in that lunch, I'll, I'll share a few things about our, 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 our vision and our mission and our values. And we'll talk a little bit about history and then a little bit about what it means to be a member at Calvary by the sea. It'd be lovely to have you. We also have childcare by the way. So by the way, so if you want to bring your kids, you can do that. We'll find a space for them to hang out while we spend lunch together and in conversation. So, uh, um, it'll be amazing. So please come. Uh, Pentecost Sunday, it's so much stuff. Red, red, wear red, ocean baptisms, and also welcome lunch. Uh, and then the 26th. This is so cool. We don't do a lot of these uh, um, throughout the year, but it'd be awesome for you to be part of our potluck social. And this is a uh, an intentional time of community and an intentional time to be with one another. And so there'll be a sign-up sheet for this where you can sign up... Uh, what you would like to bring for the commute uh, for the um, potluck social and, and it'd be really cool so if you have a chance um, to look at that and stop by the welcome table please sign up for the potluck social it's going to be good it's always good and uh, lastly if you are a musician did you hear me a musician uh, if you like to sing right um, Alana our director of worship she she's going to be uh, putting together a summer calendar. We usually give our musicians a summer break. And so we would love to include many other musicians in the community. And uh, perhaps you play the piano, a little bit of the piano, you play a little bit of the guitar. Um, maybe you sing a little bit or you're a little, you know, you're, you're on the organ or something like, you know, what are these gifts that you may have that we would love for you to share with us this summer, June and July. So um, please connect with Alana about that. You can send her an email at alana at calvarybythesea.org or you can talk to her, I'm sure, on Sundays as well. But uh, she's definitely going to be looking for some musicians for this summer. Well, that's all the announcements for May. I just want to say welcome wherever you are in your journey of faith, wherever you are walking today, that you would sense a a lightness, that you would sense uh, joy and peace and really this, um, this sense that you are loved and that God is well pleased with you. I, I pray a, a blessing upon you 
And may you know that uh, this is the season where we get to step in once again in this Pentecost up to, you know, we're still in this Easter season into Pentecost season, but, you know, it's it's an invitation. It's always, it always is, right? <laughs> As we are, it's, it's always an invitation. It's an invitation to walk in solidarity with the hurting and the poor and the suffering. And it's an invitation to abide uh, with the divine, to be branches that are fruitful, that are continuously doing good in this world. And even when we make mistakes and even when we have failures and there is perplexing moments, shall we say, that you would get right up, that you'd get right up and continue being fruit in this world, resemblance of the divine, that you would continue to live into that which you were created to be. Isn't that so good? Well, I hope that today you find um, that sense today, wherever you are, whoever you are. Um, and I hope you can join us in this coming up season in May, that it would be a season where we get to see the divine in one another, where we get to see justice flowing like a river, right? So good. So good. So bless, blessings to you. Much love to you. And we hope to see you around. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and season. We bless you now. And uh, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, creator, redeemer, and sustainer, who was, who is, and who is to come. All right. Blessings to you. Bye. Much love.